everybody, welcome to the Wadok Way. I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. And today's video is going to be the first in a brand new series. We decided that we would start sharing what we've been reading lately. So we're gonna come together, I'm not gonna put a time limit on it, but every so often to share what we've been reading. Emily will share what she's been reading, we'll share what we've been reading together as read alouds, and then I'll share what I've been reading um, as myself. So do you wanna start? Yes, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. So I'm gonna start with my um, book club books. This is Wish Tree. All right, and then I will show you guys the reading level, because I know that you like to see that. So here's a few examples of that. Okay, what else do you have? Wonderland. And what would you rate these books? All of the ones that we're showing, would you recommend that other people read them? Yes, because these are great. Okay. All right, next. Crenshaw is my favorite. Yeah, you really, really did love Crenshaw, didn't you? Okay. And then Mrs. Basil E. Frank Miller? Frankenweiler. So from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankenweiler. Okay, and so those are the four books that you've done with your book club. So in case you don't know, Emily takes a book club with Mary Hannah Wilson. Do you like Miss Mary's book clubs? They're awesome. <laughs> she absolutely loves them and looks forward to them every month. And they do one book a month. Um, she's in the fiction book club. I'll leave a link in the description box in case you're interested. Those are what they've done for the past four months. Um, and then do you have more books to share with us? Yes, I have the books that I've been reading for fun. My Animal Rescue Club, Baby Deer Rescue. That's Adventure Club. <laughs> <laughs> they are rescue books, but they're the Animal Adventure Club. Okay, what else you got? Then I have the Baby Auto Rescue. Oh. You read the whole series, didn't you? Yes, they're super good. So, you have one more, right? The Baby Red Squirrel Rescue. Okay, so you read all three. Did you have a favorite of these three, if you had to pick one? I may be thinking the otters, because they just sound so cute. Okay, and did they have to be read in order? No, they don't. They don't, because there's no limit or to anything. It's awesome. You can read them in any order. I read the deer, then otter, then squirrel, but you could read them in any order you want to. So they don't have to be read in sequential order. There wasn't storylines that followed over? No. Okay. All right. you have any more for us? Yes, I have The Strangers. So this is part of the Greystone Secrets. All right. Now, do we want to tell them that we had to quit reading these at night, right? They scared me. So you probably shouldn't read them at night. I, re I read them at day and I totally love them. Okay. Emily is a sensitive soul, right? Yes. All right. So she's a little sensitive. So there's certain things that we don't read close to bedtime and she was reading them at bedtime and we started having some issues. So then we made them a daytime book. So if you have a kid who's also sensitive, you may want to either pre-read this series or have them read them during the day and not right before bed, depending on if that's one of their triggers or not. Okay. Go ahead. Then we have the detectives, which is the second book. The Deceivers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I know it's hard to read when you're holding the book up, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's the second one. And then The Messengers, which is the third one. And so far, the final one, right? Yes, but there could be a fourth one they you're, put out. Are you secretly hoping? Yes. <laughs> I knew that. Okay, so that is everything you've read the past few months, right? And then we've listened to some books. No, these are the ones we've done read-alouds. True. Yeah. So we started, we thought we were going to use them as audio, and then we decided to do them as read-alouds because I wanted to enjoy them too. So go ahead, you do the first one, I'll do the second one. Yes. Okay. A Wolf Called Wander. And then also by the same author is A Whale in the Wild. Which, they're both very great books. And what's really cool about these is they're told from the perspective of who? Um, 
there are two perspectives. Yeah, but they're told, are they told by people? They're told by animals. Yes, they're told by the perspective of, mm -hmm. from the perspective of the animal, right? So, so, like, the orca is actually narrating this book and the wolf is narrating this one, right? Yes, that one has, um, Vivian. Mm, Vega. Vega, that's what it was. And then... Deneb? Yeah. Remember the brother and sister? And this one has Swift and... I think this one was just Swift mainly, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so they're really, really cool if you have a kid who loves animal books because they, like I said, are told from the animal perspective. But also, even though they're fiction books, have a lot of facts, right? A lot of animal facts. So you yes. learned a lot when we were reading them yes. too. Yes, it wasn't just an awesome book. It was also a fact book, yeah. which I really liked. So these are really great read alouds if you have an animal lover. Okay, do you want to stick around for my books? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share the two and only two books that I read that were not necessarily thrillers. In case you don't know, thrillers are my personal favorite um, genre. I just really like them. They make me want to keep reading. But the two that I read that were not thrillers and lately were Atomic Habits. I've actually read this before, but I feel like this book always can kind of use a reread, um, especially when I'm falling into some habits that I want to break. And then Julie Bogart's new book, Raising Critical Thinkers. Um, I'm not quite finished with this one yet because I really wanted to take my time going through it. But this is what I'm currently reading through. And then these are all of my somewhat suspenseful thriller books that I read for pleasure. And there are none of these that I wouldn't recommend. They were all very, very good. So we have Local Missing Woman. The Wife Upstairs, Sometimes I Lie, Confessions on the 745, and then by that same author I read The Last Girl Ghosted, And Lisa Jewell is one of my absolute favorite authors. I've read almost everything by her. So I read The Night She Disappeared. And I've been trying to also somewhat keep up with Reese's Book Clubs if the book it looks like something that I would really enjoy. So I read Lucky. And this one was not one I would have typically pulled for myself. Um, but it actually was really good. And I'm glad I read it. So everything was really, really good. And I've really enjoyed all of them. Um... Do you want to maybe pick one book? Like if, if they can only read one of what we shared, what's the one book that we shared that you would, <laughs> I this know that's too hard. I know. I love books. Let's just try though. If you can only pick one of the ones that you shared, what's the one you would be like, you have to read this one. Does it depend on a certain stack? No, any of yours, any of the ones that we've read. So it can be any of those. challenge is too hard you have to okay um i may be thinking the animal adventure club oh but you can only pick one so which one <laughs> the otters <laughs> okay so, so that one that's the one if they are only gonna read one pick the otters okay they're cute all right and if you were only gonna read one of the ones that i've read uh, I'm going to have to go with Lisa Jewell. I, like I said, I love her and this book did not disappoint. So if you're only going to read one and you like thrillers, then Lisa Jewell, The Night She Disappeared is the one I would suggest. And if I had to pick one of your adult books, I would go with The Breaking Habits. The Breaking Habits? Because I pick my fingers a lot. Oh, so you're going to read my adult book next? Yes, so I can <laughs> stop, uh, so I can break one of my habits. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us and seeing a little bit of what we've read lately. But before we go, we would like to ask you what you've been reading lately. So please tell us down in the comments what you've been reading, what your kids have been reading, and what you've been reading aloud so that we might be able to check out some new books.